All right. So it is just Shane and me tonight, and we are going to build an English teacher. <laughs> We've been talking a little <laughs> bit. To get a bit, bit to <laughs> That's right. There you go. Um, so big question on the table, literally on the table there is, what do you want AI to do for you tonight? And Shane has been experimenting with uh, uh, ChatGPT 4.0. And oh, Bob Montgomery is here. Yay, he can help us out. Hey, Bob. Hey, Paul. We just got started with Shane and me, and it's just you now, and we'll see if anybody else shows up. Sounds think, good. Uh, yeah, and, and so big, big question on the table is, what do you want AI to do for you tonight? And Shane was just about to share his screen, and he wants to create an English teacher. That sound fair? <laughs> Yeah, sounds great. Shane, do you have access to student work, or we could just use uh, something else we we could find? Yeah, I've got I've, I've got some student work that I can I can grab. Yep. Okay. Um. So if I just do share screen, is that the easiest? Bob, if you want to go make something else, feel free. Or yeah, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go in. I'm gonna go into writing partners and, and play, and we can check in a little bit. Okay. Cool. Um, Bob. On so uh, so one of the um, Shane's getting stuff together, which is fine. We could go off for if, if we're bothering him. No, we're okay. You can keep working, Shane. Okay. So um, I I I thought <laughs> it's okay, Bob. I, I I thought about creating another group, but I think community of practice will work just fine. If you okay. agree, um, yeah. and and I put up there a proposal to Marina and Shane. Um, about and actually to um, Joe about a um, creating bots uh, out of biographies or character sketches. Anyway, that's up there in the community of practice. And I used two thinking partners that I just developed based on um, an article in Harvard uh, Business Review about asking questions. So they're they categorize questions. So you might look at that if that's helpful I'm, or just do your I'm, own thing. I'm, yeah, I'm doing yeah. my own thing, Paul. Okay. I'll let, you know, I'll let you know when I'm ready to share. Okay, good, good. Do your own thing. Okay. Um, and, and Bob, if you want, you can stay here if you're okay or, you know, if you move off, you won't hear us. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. I'll, I'll move off and then I'll come back in a minute. Okay. Okay, Shane. Um, yep. English teacher persona. Okay. How do I move on? Do I just so put Shane, down that? Like Shane, the, let me let me break, yep. let, let me um, coach in this way. Let me say cool. that I I'm trying, and it's some of the stuff that uh, Andrea Zellner sent to you, and you use. But it's my translation of it. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, leave that up. That's fine. Yep. Um, we, we, yeah, it's fine. So one is persona. Um, another yep. is purpose. Oh, there they are. Another purpose. Another is process. Process and product. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you, it's there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. yeah so not, but I have When haven't you go to a new writing yet, partner, but, you've put it right. Yeah. That's that's really handy having it there too. Having it where? The, where does it show up? Oh, so, oh my God. so, can, I can you see on new writing partner? My can gosh, you see my screen. Yeah, so, so my tech guy just put this in place. I I didn't know he had done it already. <laughs> well, he has. <laughs> I'm I'm always pleased by that. Now, if you click on that, does it go to? Yeah, that should open up. Yeah. So I haven't defined it yet, but I, I'm going to create, mm -hmm. if this makes sense. So you'll help me know if this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we'll do it through trial and error. And the description is what? Give the writer details about this writing partner's persona and purpose. The writing partner is a blank who will read your selected text and. Is that helpful? <laughs> Or not. Yep. That's a change also. It was Bob's suggestion to not call it a prompt because 
it was it's getting confused like what's a prompt and what's a question yeah yeah so yeah so I, just I think call this like box engineering and yeah okay so we'll go back to the title um i, I, can, I can make this bigger yes i can hold on okay i'm good now i can see it now. okay now, when you say an English teacher, I don't think you need to say the word persona again there. Um, yeah, true. But so it's an English teacher. Well, I suppose it's really it's an experience. It the, the, the phrase I used that was successful last time. Yeah, it was experienced elementary. Um, okay. Because it seemed to be important last time that, the, that I said it was an experienced English teacher rather than just an experienced teacher. Okay. Wait, your experiment with, with GPT? Yeah, my experiment, experiment with ChatGPT. It made that, a difference. That seemed to be relevant. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Well, just, um, just, you know, certainly from what I've learned so far, it seems the more context you can provide, the, you know, the, the better. So there is a there is a matter right. So in all of the um, so let's just unpack the word context. Mm -hmm. In all of the um, guides that are coming out, and there's a good one from Gemini. Google put a, a good one out, and I've linked to it um, here and there. But um, they emphasize that you've got to establish what the context is. Um, mm -hmm. But in our case the user who uses the writing partner establishes the context, right? So mm. they say, my text, this is the context that you're going to do your work in, right? Yeah. So we don't have to, or we yeah, can't we don't really have to. Yeah. define the context, okay? Yeah. If we understand that properly. Yeah. Properly. yeah. Bring, bring it back. Let's yeah. keep working. Again, I, I don't know. I never go in this kind of careful way, so I don't know. But okay. So let's talk about, let's start to define the persona. Or or can you copy and paste it from your the other document? Oh, yeah. I should be able to just copy and paste it from. Yeah. Okay. And I'm always very polite when I type my <laughs> problems. No, I, I, there is some research and, and, and disagreement yeah. in research about whether, whether yes, it matters. Yes, that's right. Um, that that that's has okay. been some conjecture, but, but some have said that, that things like that can matter. I'm like, well, it doesn't hurt. And particularly Thanks. if you're showing students, then I, what, there doesn't seem to be any downside to modeling being polite. <laughs> And and what convinces me is it changes your attitude, right? It, it yeah, exactly, it, exactly. Right? It, it makes you under. Oh, yeah. I'm a polite person, <laughs> right? Yeah. So, yeah. so I think that's fine. You're you're programming yeah. yourself. Okay, now just <laughs> exactly. the, just to say this may not matter, but I'm going to tell you what I do. And mm -hmm. um, can you please take on the persona of a primary? I just say B. Like erase yep. that whole first phrase. Mm -hmm. Um, and, and this may be the difference between using a chat bot and yeah, I'm going to say you, you've partner. already got sort of a layer over the top, I think. So hopefully, then yep. I, I suppose I, I was trying to to make up for some of that lack of uh, so of uh, system. So be a primary school teacher and explain to me like I'm like I'm a like I'm a student. Um. Yeah, in Australia in year five, what complex sentences are. Okay. Um, Should we change your name up here just to do like a, a test first? Like that this is a- uh, Later. Um, explain to me year five, yeah. Yep. yeah let, we'll do that later. So 
pull out the um, like I'm like I'm a student in year five because I want that to be a separate paragraph. Mm -hmm. And I'm just gonna work with you like an editor, okay? I could be wrong. Yep. I don't know, but yeah. And then paste that down below somewhere. Where we have it, okay? Because okay. you also space out like your your instructions as well, don't you? Yeah, so that which, I, which I'm for, which I'm going to call for, purpose. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, and explain to me what complex sentences are. That's also purpose. Yeah. So I think um, put that in a separate line also. <laughs> we'll, yeah. we'll pull it all yeah. together later. No, that I. I yeah, that, that makes sense, that spread okay. spacing it out. Because also it's like a checklist for yourself to go like persona, purpose, process. Yeah. Now, you know, we, like when you write from an outline, sometimes it's not as thoughtful or creative as it could be. But we'll start this way. And then yeah. So be a primary yeah. school teacher. Now, um, who is like what what is your expertise what is what is like oh yeah yep give yeah, give who, this give um, this character some some expertise in um assessing student writing okay um, so be, be a primary school teacher's expertise in assessing student writing challenges or assessing student writing, maybe, and creatively helping matter. them to improve their writing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, now, get, where does this expertise come from? What does this primary school teacher know? She. Oh, yes. It could be the uh, next expertise. sentence. You don't, have, you don't have to change yeah, expertise. Yeah. But yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Um, so you you uh you know the standards really well or you've studied yeah like what have you Now, how long is that version nine? Is it like forty pages, or is it? Uh, yeah, it's it's not particularly well set out, but yeah, it'd be, it'd be something like that. It's um, uh, because the English writing component of it would probably be be even a bit less than that, I'd say. Okay, so when we're building this, at some point, if there was a summary of of what that key knowledge base is that would be useful to paste in well what i've tried to do is see on the right yeah, hand side here there's got the australian literacy progression analysis right. so i tried to create a document with so the australian literacy oh. um progression is like um starting at um before at, at the very start of school recognizing shapes on a page and then sort of going from there through to letters sentences that sort of thing so mm -hmm. can, can you refer it to documents or or do you just need to put that into the um the the prompt so i would say both okay um yeah i mean when you refer to it it, it doesn't necessarily pick it up but it would be right. useful for a user to be able to click a link and, and find it, right? Um, yeah, true, true. But so let's go back to that. Let's just have that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, yep. It sounds like we've got another person. Yeah, David's jumping in. All right. Where are we? Hi, David. Are you on a phone or are you? Yeah. I'm on a phone call, so I'm going to get on mute and just listen in while, I, while I'm traveling back to my office. How's that? That's cool. It's just Shane and me figuring out an English teacher. <laughs> Excellent. All right, carry on, Shane. I'll be. Uh, I'll catch up with you when I'm set up. Okay. Cool. 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 Here, working somewhere too. Okay. 
Um, let me pull that back over. Let's go back to the, I don't feel like I'm done with the persona yet. Yep. Because I want to also get some of her, it's a she or not? Oh, it doesn't, I, I doesn't, don't know. Or it doesn't I, need, okay. I didn't have a gender in mind, so. Okay, we don't have to then. But is, um, how well loved is she to her students and why? Oh, that's yeah. Which, which gives her like some that. some personality, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, remember, you, you you're talking to. You don't say the teacher is well loved. You would say you are well loved. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah. You're, you're telling you're telling the the bot who to be. That's right. This is creating, yeah. <laughs> That's such a different mindset. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, it is. You're well loved by your students because you generally care about each one of them. And why can't to find out? So, okay. So I think um, when, when you're able to find out what's interest, what they're interested in, and what means most to them, I think that's one of the things that kids love. What I'm struggling with in a good way is mm -hmm. how that relates to what you want this bot to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I suppose I, at this point in time, I, I, I don't exactly know, but okay. um, it do, doesn't yeah. feel like it's going to hold anything back by putting it in, but it might, to, to me, what I'm thinking is, and this is just you know, brainstorming, what I'm thinking is that with the last one, there was a bit of inferencing went on that um, when I said to do about the complex sentences and then it started using metaphors based on the, the content that I gave it, and I think that it did that because that's what experienced teachers do is they find um, things that students are interested in or things that students are familiar with. And then they come up with so those her as a way her of examples. explaining complex concepts. So why, why don't we say that here? Um, something like your, oh, exa yeah. your, your examples could come from the student's interests, right? Hi, Bob. <laughs> You popped in at school. Uh, yeah, okay. He'll he'll make himself known when he wants. So again. It's like you read one research article th three months ago and you remember pieces of it. At least that's mm -hmm. me. At least. Um, yeah, but, yep. <laughs> but there was somebody trying to explain how different AI is from um, like the Alexas and the, the things that predict the next word in your email and stuff, right? Yeah. And what he was explaining, the metaphor he used, I've said this before, but so I'm sorry to repeat. The metaphor here in that was that when you establish the persona, actually find it's like it recognizes the valley your take your trail is going through, and it starts to define its choices based on that. So if you say it's a nuclear scientist, it actually looks for that domain. Um, in in mm -hmm. in the words it predicts. Yeah. So I think defining this persona can seem silly at times. I think it actually does define something interestingly. Not, yeah, not I, as I, far, I, right? Yeah. Right? <laughs> but, well, <laughs> that's, that's, hoping that is true. the hilarious part about this field. <laughs> it is even the most knowledgeable people aren't. <laughs> 
so, so it's like Doc, we're all we're all just learning. <laughs> let's see if we can figure out um, now what you wanted to do, uh, which I'm calling purpose. I hope that works. I like the four P mm -hmm. idea, yeah. but if, but if it doesn't stretch yeah. it too far, you know, that'd be cool. Yep. Hi, Marina. Join us when you can. Hi, how are you? Hello. Hi. Hi. One second. Hi, I was just uh, finishing up Were you on? on the phone. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, I was just on the phone. Well, thanks for coming um, by. Just finishing up the call. Yeah, sorry I'm late. Oh, good. It's fine. It's a sort of a um, uh, vacation week or something. So David is David is oh, on, his, on yeah. his bike, I think, coming back to the office. And Shane is here. And we uh -huh. are trying. we are working through the details of creating a, um so do you want to just join us there and then, then all right so I'm then we can up. talk about my proposal to you. i don't know yeah go, do that okay so join us as you can and we're going to keep going a little bit this way is that okay yeah i do want to get to my making bots proposal to you but if we can. But first, we're, um, first okay. we're making a Explo teacher. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. This is the bot we're making. Okay. So just to summarize, I pull it down a little bit so we can see the uh, that paragraph. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this is like brand new. Instead of prompt right there, we have this notion that, that a writing partner needs a persona, purpose, process, and product. You were asking for an outline of some sort, right? When you were building these, um, and I see you puzzled there. Are you okay with that? We'll show, we'll show you what we mean. Um, so let's let's try to do process um, purpose. So what do you want this teacher to do? Well, do, should we stick to what I did the? The, yes. the one with the chat GBT just for the comparison purpose. Yeah, copy and paste. And then, and that will yeah. sort of, yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, so I asked him to explain what com complex sentences are. So that that was the purpose um, of the previous one was, where is it here? Do you know? Um, yeah. And explain what complex sentences are. Uh, can you give some examples using the solar system? So they were. I suppose that's the process was to give some examples using the solar system. I like that understanding. <laughs> now, can I? Yeah, so, so the purpose is the complex sentences and then the, the um, process is to use to, that, that context of the, oh, there we go. We already had there. Can you... Right. And it, if, if it all gets mixed into one sentence, it doesn't matter. You know, we're... It yeah, yeah, a pretty yeah. Arbitrary it's just just a bit easier from from a user point of view. So, um, and and I I like that just for myself to go. Oh, yeah, I've got I've got each of those four elements. I think that'll help when crafting to make sure you haven't lost, haven't skipped something. Uh -huh. So, but let's and see also what you from have. an editing let point me, of view. Let me let me push you a little bit on complex sentences. Um, okay. Do you know Do you know the why 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 procedure when you're dealing with? So, Marina taught me this. Oh, actually. with problem solving. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, the five. So why's. let me ask you why. Yeah. Why do you want Why do you want this thinking partner, this writing partner, to identify or do what with complex sentences? Explain oh well, to... originally this, this I was just doing this to say to give um, to explain complex sentences and then give some examples, just so that I could do it in a different way to what how I had taught it, to um, to see if that would gel with some of the kids better. But why do you why do you teach kids about complex sentences? Uh, to improve the quality of the writing so that they're using. Um, uh, greater detail and they're adding um, greater interest to their writing rather than just stating in simple sentences um, facts when they're when they're writing and why do you i'm going to play it a little bit right yeah, yeah. And, and why yeah, that, do you that, want them cool. to add detail uh, into their sentences 
uh, so that they can um, explain, or I suppose, so that they can answer the question in greater depth um, and also make their writing um, better by um, including that extra information in a more interesting way rather than just simply stating extra sentences one, one point at a time. Okay, we because can re go. reading a list is not very interesting. So it's also about about how they write. Okay, so I think I think that's what your purpose is. Not explain what complex mm. sentences are. Yeah, can you yep. write a paragraph sure. like that? Like, yeah. Yep. I mean, complex um, sentences is in there, but it's about yeah, yeah. taking yeah. It's also I think you um, want to you want to imagine the context here right so that i think you want to tell the the writing partner to look at my sentences oh and maybe yeah. we need to identify who we are first but but you want to say look at my sentences and help me make them more more complex because and then all of those reasons you were giving yeah Marina, did you mm -hmm. see my proposal and my um, how I took your example and made it into a writing partner? Uh, I didn't. Well, I saw the email. I didn't get a chance to write back, obviously. Okay. But okay. um, so you could look at that now. I don't know. So you're... you, or you could build something. Were you were looking for that. So on the it's on the table. I think it's the second thing. It's way on the right side. There's that email I put up as a. Um, is it the bot builders? Oh no, that's yes. something. No, that is that's right. Oh. Okay. So I put the proposal up in the community of practice, but there are links in there to. Um, your original, well, here. Is that a little bit easier to read, Paul? I've just, just zoomed in a bit. Yeah, yeah. I, but I can zoom in too, so I was fine. But it's, it's oh, helpful. okay. Oh, I, I it's helpful. Like that. Yeah, cool. it's okay. Did you find it, Marina? Yeah. Or, so are you help? proposing making bots that are the person that, the for yes. the person that was researched? Yes. Okay. Um, so we're, okay. So basically, but I just want you to see what I did with your story and see what happens there. Like look through the-, the So you're creating a character. The character is not the, the per, the, the character is not Neil deGrasse Tyson. It's a, it's, a it's, a sim, it's a simulation of him. Yeah. Okay. Where is it? Where, so where does it source the information from? Your bio. What if my bio is inaccurate? Then your, then your bot would be inaccurate. That's the only thing that's, that's, that's kind of just what I, what I'm thinking. Like, what if, you know, like, yeah, but like somebody writes so, like a, I mean, a kid writes like a biography and they're having difficulty understanding some of the things that they're learning. They're still working through it. And then now we've got some information that's not accurate being. So published. the first step, the first step would, <laughs> would be to, to be sure that, well, and Joe Dillon is dealing with. Um, yeah. What's uh, he doing? So I was well, excited to see his name. <laughs> He's, I haven't talked to him in years. He's dealing with um, fictional characters, like kids creating characters. They're fictional characters. So yeah. he, would, he would be less concerned about accuracy in that case, mm -hmm. but he would be concerned about, you know, how thoughtful and creative and rich those characterizations are, right? So they're... There is a whole step that I haven't talked about at all. I'm assuming that it's a perfect biography. Okay. Now, I, I will say that it, one of the things I did was I had um, the simulator look at his own bio and he corrected your spelling of his name. 
<laughs> so okay. look, at, look at that, right? Yeah. So I think they could, they, they might actually pick up some facts, <laughs> but, but that's, that's, I, let's assume that the bio is, is good enough. Yeah. Right? The accuracy is good enough. I simply took, I simply took it, copied it and pasted it into a, a writing partner. And at the top said B, um, Tyson DeGrasse, is that his name? Yeah, uh, DeGrasse Tyson, sorry. And, um, and uh, use this bio to get ideas for how to talk, right? Hmm. And then I went and pretended to be a fourth grader or a third grader and said, I went to see the, the eclipse and I had him talk back to that fourth grader and we had like eight d conversations where <laughs> he leads me as that little girl who went with her mother to see the eclipse I, <laughs> um, to think about light. And anyway, it's a pretty fascinating dialogue that mm -hmm. just comes out of, of that bot being created. Yeah. So I don't know. I have to think a little more about that. I kind of liked what we talked about the other day about using habits of mind thinking partners with the biography. I really liked that a lot. And okay. I, I was thinking about that a lot. And I do like this um, for... And it's not either or, right? They could, no, I know. No, 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 I know that. I know that. And I do like this for um, what Joe's doing, it looks like with the fictional characters. Cause I was just, I see in the uh -huh. comments on the side, the copy of the email that you guys sent us. Um, I guess yeah. like, I, I guess like, I don't know the, the part of me too, like, is just knowing that kids can sometimes get things wrong. Um, I wouldn't want to have information repeated back to them that is inaccurate. Like I'll, almost like if it was like, I wonder like, if, if it was a type of clarifying or if a teacher well, but, could so, upload information in, I mean, it's a lot for, it's a lot to do. So like one there's, the, everybody's doing a different person, but. Um, you could, know. so that's a good idea. Actually, you could take a part of probably not the whole thing, but you could take a part of like a Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. about somebody and and add that into a writing partner and then that person could check the person's bio mm -hmm. that that simulator mm -hmm. yeah anyway. that's just, that was something like I, I i was talking to when i was talking to ian the other day you know i'm i'm sure you talked about this he's making a lot of his own um gpts Mm -hmm. And he was telling me about like how to upload information in and stuff like that. Um, yeah. Well, we can do that too. Um, yeah. So, so no, that's just, know, that's why yeah. that's why I said that because I didn't realize that something that you know somebody who's creating these can also do that too. Yeah. So yeah. So your first response, uh, one of your responses is, "See, is a concern. I get it. Do you think the bios aren't accurate that they have or?" No, not? I I I'm I think they're okay for the most part. Um, I just wouldn't want to contribute if it wasn't to you know something where I was incorrect information. Do you know? I think that's the media literacy I, I, part I, of me. <laughs> Christina, just just sort of listening in on that, I I agree with you as well that. Even if you gave kids like the right information, the danger is that even say when they're typing it up, they could, you know, misinterpret or they could add in some extra. Kids don't always even just copy straight um, correctly mm. or or that sort of thing. So I, I I do think that is something to be wary of, um, because as teachers, we've all told kids something and then then they parrot back to you something very different. <laughs> yeah. But no, no, we said we were not going to do that. <laughs> yeah, had something like that happen today, actually. Yes, we've but I've been there. I, I gotta say though, I, I think if they created one and it was giving it incorrect information, it's not going in.
except you and the kid and the kids see it, right? So I don't mm. think you have to worry about media literacy or anything, you know, out there in the world. I think it would be actually a wonderful learning experience to say, hey, do you see how it says, you know, that it's, you know, it's still alive and it died three years ago? <laughs> yeah. Or, you know, yeah, yeah. I, I think I think you could have that conversation still. But mm. but I hear the concern. Um, let's come back to you. What have you been doing? So um, I have tried to work my my way through sort of the can, purpose can you and open, the open the process. Tri can you open the triangle in the bottom right corner? We can see more text then of the text box. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, right. Is that is that dragged down? Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> That's much okay. better. Okay. Look at my sentences and help me make some of them more complex in order to improve the quality of the overall writing. Add variety. Uh, yeah, put a period there. It likes it. Oh, yeah. AI, yeah. One AI likes short yeah. sentences. So add variety okay. to cool. it, Actually, it, it's actually good writing that it, it, it likes. It likes nouns and verbs, right? All right. Add variety to the types of sentences in each paragraph and to include greater detail to the topic without simply listing facts. Oh, that's cool. That gives me an idea, okay, what to do. And then, so that's purpose, process, identify yeah. each of the sentences that you could have been, oh, okay, that, I wasn't sure that distinction. See, is that more sense, product but, or? Yeah. Well, I mean, well, I don't well know. see, well, the, the, the danger I thought here is that, is that a good piece of writing is not, every single sentence in a paragraph is a complex sentence, right? So I also didn't want it to go, here, let's tra transform every single sentence into yeah. complex, and now your paragraph is awful to read. So I was trying to think of a way to say, well, have a look at it, and then um, you know, choose a couple of sentences or something like that to, so that it, it's not, not recommending you to change from one, from a very simple a whole stack of simple sentences to just a whole stack of complex sentences. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I don't think it'll do that, but I hear the concern. Yeah. And you've you've blocked yeah. up there. Okay. So now yeah, you're you're asked, is that process what was the process you had originally? It was something about science uh project? Oh yeah. So I said to give examples from um uh where is it? To give examples from the solar, can you please give us some examples using the solar system because our focus that we're writing our information reports on was on the solar system. So I would put that back in here, or is it there? Okay. I'm just not seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no, I, no I, I didn't. I just made it general. Um, give an idea of how I might be able to achieve this by making, because what I thought is rather than oh, okay, you want to keep getting an eye to use my sentence and then say, here, here's a way you could make it better. If you do that with kids, they go, cool, I'll just use yeah. that. Thanks. <laughs> Um, so if I said, well, give an idea of how I might better achieve this by making up a sentence that's not in my text, but is related to the content or topic. Oh, I like and I that. Thought, well, maybe that, maybe that keeps it broad enough that um, I don't have to state solar system and then go back and edit it every time we change a, a topic that hopefully it should be able to pick up. Well, this, this paragraph is all about solar system, so I'll use that. Okay. Or the next one's all about a book review. Now... The last paragraph here, I don't know what you were going with with provide, but let's give some definition to what the product is going to be. Yeah, um, yeah is, I wasn't really sure how to start be a, Well, one thing to think about is how many paragraphs do you want it to be? Do you want it to be a bulleted list? Do you want it to be written so that a fourth grader will understand it? Oh, yes. Okay, it, cool. How, yeah, yeah. That's So think about the quality of the text that you want it to produce. W would you call it output or? Is this... Yes, it's absolutely output. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Right. The output. Um, oh, here we go. Year five, grade five. Is it better to say age of a student, do you think? Yes. Yeah, like, so yeah, I was going to ask you that. How old is a year five student? Yeah, year five students sort of. Um, uh, 10 or 11, depending on 10 turning, like 10 turning, yeah, 11. 10, 10 turning 11. 
So what grade is that for us? Six, seven. That's um, that's that's fifth grade. Oh, so yeah, because I have like so much different. Yeah. I have um, eight turning nine in third grade. Yeah. 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 Use age. That's fine. Yeah. All right. You put eight so that. So Marina, let let my proposal sit with you a while. You don't. Yeah, yeah, I'm not saying I'm not yeah, saying no. I know I'm you're just, not. You know, I'm just... I I really try to always look for things at things from different lenses. And I know. So. <laughs> I know. I just thought it would be playful, and if what would also be possible is that they could in in the discussion area in their group, they could have their um their bio simulators talk to each other too, right? So they could. Oh, I see. That actually would, that would be pretty interesting. Yeah. So you could pose a question and say, hey, you know, what do you think about <laughs> um, global warming, right? And then mm -hmm. each of the characters would, would have a response to that. And in theory, they could also, like, and I have an example there. I found, I, I, I was surprised that it actually works in my chat with um, with Neil, <laughs> um, it ends, I, I end it sort of by saying, can you point to it? Like, I'm really interested in light and how it bends <laughs> now, right? And, and can you point me to books that a third grader could read? And he actually cites two books that I, and I looked them up and they're, they actually exist and they're decent books. Right? What books so are then I there's one called Light um, Beyond the Visual Spectrum. I don't know if it's appropriate. Wait, wait, where can, I, where can I find this conversation that you had? <laughs> Sorry. <It's> I'll share. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shane, keep working and we'll come back to you. Or are you Oh, done? wait. I see. Yep. Hold on. Well, I, I, you I see I'm done. Okay. Good. GPT. Oh, I think I found it. Okay. Is it Miss Lombardo's GPT discussions? Yes. Okay. All right. Let me look at this. Okay. I pretended to be you. I, yeah, I was just I was just looking at um the our con the conversation that you built around the proposal. I didn't see this. It's really hard for me to think. How are you diving? Later, but, but. So, um, think we could either use another or do you have an example that you could put up so wait wait uh, let's go yeah, down let's yeah, finish I'm, this yeah yeah so david sure. um, jeremy got a change in fast this is bob montgomery's suggestion that using the word prompt for this box is getting confusing because people use prompt in so many different ways these days so we just so we're saying create a writing partner uh, writing partners and we are coming up we're christening these four things and we can change them it doesn't make sense but shane, <laughs> and made, shane and i made sense of them um you, to make a persona yeah. a purpose a process and a product um for mm. right um and then we have that links to a page where we can explain what that is we haven't done that yet but I came yeah. up with that. I, I, I like that because it sort of helps to set this out. And I, I think it would make oh, editing yeah. or or looking at other people's um, writing partners that if you're going, oh, I want to want to grab some ideas from an existing writing partner. I think that would make it um, a bit easier for people to go, oh, I'll grab that purpose or that persona or, um, uh -huh. and then. Yeah, that, that might make yeah, it I thought a bit of easier whether, for people. Yeah, I thought of whether or not to put separate boxes, but I don't – I think I think it, it can get messy, and sometimes – Yeah. Sometimes I, it's I don't think process to, and to, product to make it, can be the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so but, let's go to your category for a second, though, down below. Hmm. Make sure you, before we publish this. Yeah. Um, and is this a coach? Notice I yeah. I started to make things for children, but it doesn't matter. Well, I must admit, I when I looked at this before, I wasn't quite sure on the difference between mentor and coach. 
Yeah. So is coach about making things, making suggestions to, to do things better or? Cause sort of yeah, let's make it a mentor. Too. Let's make it a mentor. I, I, I don't know the difference yeah. either. But let's make it a mentor for a young writer. Yeah. Um, a distinction which I don't know if we'll keep, but for now we have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yep. And hit hit create, and I think you're good. Um, you don't get you don't get the choice of a. Oh, you don't. That's interesting. Okay, I have to think about that. Okay, so you've created it, and you oh, are yeah, in, there. The experienced elementary teacher. Okay. So now you need yeah. to go to um, upload a document. Do we have time to do this? Um, oh, sorry. Or should we go back to this another time? Oh, he, he changed that too. He's, he's so good. All right. Um, instead of upload document, it now says create document. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that's um, where you'll post your student sample you have. Oh, uh, yep. Cool. Let me go ahead. Shane, is this an anonymized student sample, like an actual student writing, or is this a, is this a, is this a created sample? Uh, yeah, I've got one testing. that was an anonymized one that I used for. Uh -huh. Hold on, let me. Not there. I've got to find where I'll put it now. Uh -huh. um, I think it was that one there. So, Marina, uh -huh. like I said, it's hard for me to, I, I don't know if a third grader would have that kind of conversation or not. <laughs> So it's sort of like an adult pretending to be a third grader. Yeah, no, but, the but I'm in third grade. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, I but like I thought I said, it was I've been yeah, yeah. with my students to you know write things like you know to make it very clear mm -hmm. how uh, you know like the explain it like I'm five thing you know um, also for read readability because um, that's another thing that we have to keep in mind with varying well it's not even just about age because you have a lot of um individuals who read at different uh have their readability is different for lots mm -hmm. of different reasons so um you know and i don't know i mean if somebody is working with i actually tried this because you know i have a, a surface um what's nice about using edge browser is that you know mm -hmm. you can use edge browser to have the comments read aloud but you don't have anything there is there anything like in the website for that type of accessibility because the co the comments are a bit sophisticated um we can, I mean, you the, can modify the, the, the way the comments are sound right i mean that's the i mean that's been a consistent feature that the the, the yeah. version of the version of the the version that's running on writing partners is a pretty sophisticated response but can't that be tuned, Paul? To um... so the, OpenAI has a has a, but we we just haven't implemented it. Um, but yes, no. So the basic is there's nothing that reads it aloud to you. There could be though. There's, well, you can. I mean, but you can depending on the browser you use. That, oh, like yeah? I said, if somebody like for instance, my students are you know we're in a Microsoft school, and they use Edge, so we actually can use. Um, immersive reader and reading coach, which is could great. You, could you bring writing partners up in that? And yes, I tried it. it. Um, when that yeah. we had when we met a couple of weeks ago, and then I ended up staying on for like an hour myself, playing around with it. It did read aloud um, when I set up the uh, the immersive reader. Wow, cool! You also so, show that to me sometimes. Yeah, that's, that's yeah, cool. yes. So, so, but so yes. Did you just say so, once that you set Lexile levels? Yeah, you can do that. I mean, I think I did that there, right? I don't know. I didn't read the bot. I, I, I no, I didn't. Description. You didn't? I don't know where I put that. Doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, you could you could go in and say, you know, keep it below Lexa level seven hundred or something. Mm -hmm. Um and I don't know if that works or not, but it seems to work. <laughs> You're doing good, Shane. Need anything, let me know. <laughs> yeah, I'm just um just okay. digging in you guys don't need to see me going through files <laughs> no, that's fine, that's fine. That's i'm cool, just cool, about there cool. um, where can i find that oh so, it's a reading so partner gonna, which it's it's the um the neil degrasse tyson one can i look at the way you wrote it up just yes. to, okay yep. what how do i edit right yep i see uh, or okay. duplicate. oh wait i, oh, made I see it what you did 
You I put you took the biography and you made that yep. the writing partner. Yep. Okay. And yeah, you so you didn't put there's no Lexile level in here too. So like if I, I would be interested to see if we set the Lexile level um you know within a range of even just because it's like nonfiction and um technical language just given the nature of you know what he he studies and what he does mm -hmm. um what impact that would have on um yeah. the and also the recommendation so i did look up the book one of the books and one of the books it recommended was an adult book really so, okay yeah the one um oh i closed it out actually Although it is topical and relevant, gravity's engines, how bubble blowing back black holes rule galaxies, stars, and life in the cosmos, which actually is a, like a great title. Like I could see that yeah, being a really great like like nonfiction book. picture book for kids. If that, so, like that's why I was like, oh, let me see what this is. I was, was just surprised that the that suggestions work, and all of that, all of that dialogue that he has with you, me, the, the third grader. Right? Um, it's amazing that he's able to connect to the eclipse and all of that is just based on your biography, right? Mm -hmm. So I was impressed by that. Um, and I think, I think your kids might have fun with that, but I'm not sure. Let's get them up first <laughs> and make sure that. Yeah, we're done with the ELA here. this week. So we oh, actually no. are yeah. revisiting this project um, <clears throat> starting next week. So um, I think that would probably be like a, a doable time to, to get them going. I think it was Ruth Nathan mentioned that she had, she made her bios into these puppets that they went outside with. Anyway, I love yeah. that. But I, but it made me think. Oh, could we turn these bios into bots that they could then use with, like, if they're reading something else, or if they're writing something, they could say, "Hey, you know, give me feedback on my writing." So these bots would exist for them to in reading, writing, and they could also chat with them. And like I said, they could even. Um, have a topic in the discussion area, and have different bots give their answer to the to that question, mm -hmm. and get engaged. I don't know. It's I know it's a lot. I'm Isn't just, there uh, like um a strategy or something or an idea or um, that like I think like teachers do like where it's like um um I I actually have never done it, but. Where, where you have like, it's almost like you're sitting around a dinner table and like there's four yeah, yeah. people, right? Yeah, like dialogue of author is what I would call it. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this so, could like, you, you know, if you, not even just like the third graders, but if like any any grade, like older, you know, like that was doing some work around that. Like, third, like, I think like, third graders might be able to do it. You know, if you keep it simple. Like and you're interested. Well, yeah, I guess if they're all making their own, then you have like a what you have. Like, I mean, I would have if I mean I have a couple duplicates in my class, but like let's say they all did a different one, then you have 15 different people you could put having a conversation. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. And, Not 15, and, like maybe you have 15 choices and you pick three of them to have a conversation about a certain topic. Is that what you could do? Well, and since your topic is your topic is persistence, right? Mm -hmm. So you could have them all say, you know you know, what, what ideas do you have about, oh, they want to, I don't know, but it could be about persistence, right? Mm -hmm. But you could come up with your own idea there too. Shane, you've, uh, Hello. did you get a response and what's it like? Oh. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm up to, um, to pressing go with the question or statement. I've just been mm -hmm. putting things very basic stuff because if this was in the hands of a, of a student, I, I don't think they'd put a lot of detail in. So that's the cool. question or statement, I've just generally been putting help me make this better because that's yeah. what I think a lot of the kids would um, would put in there. Um, you might put in how how what grade this is a fifth grader. You might yeah. put that in the box below. Remember, oh, yep. I, remember, I'm a fifth grader. 
you'll have something to show your principal now. I hope. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Building the tension. <laughs> I know. It's got to go all the way from Australia to, no, I'm just yeah. <laughs> underneath the Thanks ocean. Thanks for spending this time. Gigantic cables. <laughs> Why is it taking so long? Longer than usual. When does school get out in Australia? For. Um, I know we, your seasons uh, are different. Is it like approaching winter? Yeah, com completely. Yeah, so we're we're just just coming out of um, out of spring, or we're, we're in spring at the moment, and oh. then um, we're in week two of term two. So we've got another eight weeks to go before we have a couple of weeks off in the middle of the year. Oh, wow. um, and then our big break is um, December. We um, go on our 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 version of spring break is. Um, starts in about the 8th of December. Oh, wow. Okay, Shane, it doesn't seem to okay. be going through, but um, no. uh, we'll have to, I, I hope it's it's probably an open AI bottleneck, but we'll check on it. Mm. And you have that Jupiter gas giant? Yeah, okay. Yep. So we can test this later and yep. see what we get. But that was a good experience, I think. Um, that that was yeah. Paul. Thank you. I yeah, I really that was that that really helped me feel much more comfortable with it because you know, I've I've had a go from looking at, at at the others and um but breaking it down to those four steps and then with you sort of guiding me, I I feel a lot more confident about how to how to structure that uh, the writing partner. And Shane, and I even writing that first hate, person, hate to, that, that's, a, that's a different approach. <laughs> and I, I want you to just relax in your learning stage, but I also, <laughs> I also right want you to, you to know, it's okay. We, we're going to go soon. So do you want to, well, we can talk. It's okay. Be, be also like have a journal somewhere or an idea or sketch that we can come back to sometime. How yep. teachers this too, right? Like, yeah, it's yep. great that Shane can do it. That's a really good point. With an hour of coaching, but how do we, how do we <laughs> sort of... Uh, yeah, that's right. All it takes is how one do we for every teacher on the, in, in the country. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's a good That'll, point. So we're thinking about that, okay? And and improvements like yep. we did tonight with those four words, I think, mm. is a step yep. toward. But yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Let me. Um, I hate to leave him in the lurch here. Uh, yeah, and let me see. Is Bob still here? I think Bob jumped. Okay, good. So I'm going to jump too, um, and I'll catch up with Marina later. Um, great. Well, like, yeah, Shane, thanks a lot. Enjoy. You had a day yeah, off. Yeah, thank today, you. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right. So a bit, bit of time to play. <laughs> Indeed. Thanks to both of you. It was great to watch it, to listen to you guys, and to watch where you were going with this. Um, yeah. Thank you. You're going to look at the, the four P's. Yeah, Dave, you should get in there too now. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, yeah, I, but... I, 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 Honestly, still use your learning scientist that you created a long time ago. <laughs> All right. In my own, really? like, every once in a while, I'll have a question and it gives me an answer. And anyway, so I'm just saying, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, keep that, on, that keep sounds on. great. Right. Yeah, well, have, have, a, all right. have a good night, guys. Thanks. You too. Same to you all. See you. See ya. Bye. 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 Oh, I know.